you want to go and take over now? Howdy, this is Trooper Jogger with the New York State Police. Who's inside? I think we met before. Recently, actually. Right. Uh, I can recognize that red BMW. Yeah. The guy who was driving it was the hostage. Right. Um. So what's going on in there? It seemed that you guys uh, pulled the alarm. Why'd you guys yeah, pull the alarm? I want... Well, as I told the other officer, it's kind of a funny story. I walked in here, I tripped on the alarm, I panicked, opened the vault, took some money, and put it in my bag. Oh, man. Oh, well, well that's pretty frightening. He got in there with uh, you. Just my body. Anyone else? Yeah, hostage. Alright. R35 GTR, not a Skyline, but sure. <laughs> it's not a Skyline. R34 Skyline, R35 yeah, yeah. is just a GTR. They got rid of Skyline. <laughs> Carl Johnson. Um, but we're not going to be able to use that until they actually move, unless there's a front license plate. Alright, well, uh. Right, so you got yourself a hostage in there and a buddy, right? Yep. Uh, let me just ask, did you mean to pull the arm, or, you know, did, did you actually want to? Well, officer. I'm sorry, what? This way. I need the money, but I don't want to go to jail, all right? Well, I mean, I got money. I mean, you could have just asked me for a little bit. I mean, what, what you looking at? Around 50k. 50k? Yeah, I put 50k away, you know, quite recently. A little bit more than that, to be honest. Nearly double. Oh, uh, you know what happened to me? What happened? I, I got away. arrested for driving fast, and I had to pay four to five grand. So here I am, officer. Well, uh, I mean, seems like, you know, that crime, you know, wasn't that bad. I mean, although 45000 for just reckless driving, you sure there wasn't anything else attached to it? Ah, uh, of course, but some other things attached to it, us. Well, uh, it seems that, you know, your behavior's starting to relapse a bit, you know. If you, uh, wa let that walk, or, yeah, uh, what, uh, let me find my words. Uh, if you let that hostage walk outside, you know, without, you know, any, you know, payment from us you know if you just let him go and uh put your guns down and walk outside and, you know we can talk peacefully about this and uh see if we can get your uh time you know significantly significantly drop from you know what it could be let's say you make things worse well, I come to officer let me make it clear I come to a bank with the instinct to get money and then i'm supposed to go out surrender lose money and go to jail well, I mean, who said you had to pay a fine? Ever after seven speaking with? Well, I mean, you do realize that officers can waive fines sometimes. You know, I mean, are you looking to uh, uh, just make that money back and then you're going to drop out of the crime? Or, you know, what, what's going on? What's your situation? thing is, officer, you don't see. Police are creating a circle for the criminal. Get caught once. You have minus four to five grand on your bank account. How are you gonna pay that money back? By crime. Uh, I mean, there's many other options out there. Not really. Four to five grand, officer. That's what I make legally in two years. I have a family, you know. I need to make money first. Oh, uh, that's understood. You know, I mean, one day I'll have a family and stuff, and uh, I understand where you're coming from. But, uh, you know, crime's never the answer. You know, if you're going to do crime, get fined for it, and then do crime again, you're just making things worse for yourself. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, this turns into something where you end up having a 100 grand in debt because, you know, you just do so much wrong and finally get busted for all of it. You know, I'm offering you a way out right now to, you know, walk out here and talk peacefully about this and uh, not have any more uh, debt. Can I ask you something, officer? Sure. Have you ever seen a young child 
at Christmas without any presents. Without any presents. Well, uh, that honestly isn't that hard to picture, but uh, have I ever seen that? It's heartbreaking when it's your son, officer. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I was thinking of a homeless shelter where they don't even get Christmas. Just like every other day. It's very heartbreaking. Right. I mean, again, I mean, it looks like you got yourself a hostage in there and a buddy. You know, if everyone walks out peacefully and stuff, I could potentially waive your fine completely and put you right back where you were. 45000 in debt and a uh, jail sentence, even. A reduced one, even. Officer. That's not going to happen. What's going to happen then is I'm going to have 20 grand for the hostage. He's going to leave. I'm going to get safe passage. I'm going to get in my car with my body and drive off, all right? Uh, here's the problem. Um, you see, I did some uh, recent banking and stuff, and uh, I don't have that kind of money on me. However, I did say to uh, have him uh, tell you guys that funds are on the way, so um, let us uh, talk for a second, figure out how much we have on us, and then uh, hopefully we can uh, at least get a deal on that. You know, 20k seems like a lot. Like to me. Oh, I don't want to lie to you, but I just want to give myself some time to come up here and hopefully uh, get you out of this. You know, I'm, I'm here to help you. Hold on, how much do you have? 40 grand. 39,820. Nice. Alright, well, here, here's... I just got word from the, the officer on the other side right here. Listen, listen. This officer right here, he's got the money. Alright, um... I do have money to pay him back, so technically it's coming from me. If you want to get real technical with it, like I said, funds were on the way, and uh, I have them. Did I take it from the state? Uh, we don't get access to state funds. We get access to our own bank accounts, just like everyone else. Doesn't seem fair, does it? No, I wish I could pull a million dollars just to save that guy's life, but uh, you do realize the state would go broke if that happened. I really think so. Well, yeah, I mean, many people are taken hostage. It's very scary. And we, we would save every single one of them. Government is wasting billions and billions and billions of dollars every year on worthless shit, and worthless people. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that sometimes. We all have our uh, government opinions and stuff. Alright, done. But again, right now. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Before we move money around and stuff, I want to give you um, a couple options here. You can put your gun down and just walk outside, hands up, and, you know, just face the jail time. I'll even waive the fine. No. The other thing is, I can have you walk outside uh, after someone gets hurt and then take you in and give you a fine. Or you're going to. You know, just have to live with the fact that you killed two officers and a hostage, and you got the hell out of here, and now you're wanted by the entire state. You know, that doesn't sound very good. Um, uh, officer, we don't, we want to know something. Yeah, sure. That sounds like a threat to me. Well, I, I have no intentions to threaten you, sir. But it sounds like a threat. Well, no, I'm just saying how I think it is. Yeah, I mean, that's the reality of it. Um, hopefully you're with us right now and you're completely realizing what you're doing is putting another life at risk. And uh, if anything happens, you're most likely going to start shooting at us. You're going to kill the hostage. You're going to walk away and have, you know, some kind of guilt. And it's going to haunt you. Oh. Please. Officer, I don't understand this. Trust me, I've worked with uh, many situations be before. I know exactly what you're going through right now. There's, I can kill 500 police officers just to get my child a good life. There's nothing stopping me. Two police officers, I will gun them down for my child. I will do everything for my child, right? Maybe like to more than just us two. There's only two of us. Right. 
I don't know, we can bluff, but then again, that's lying. I don't want to lie to him too much. I mean, technically, we have the funds anyway. <laughs> I mean, we can... I mean, when I said wait for funds, yeah, my bank account has funds. I just can't access it right now. Not exactly lying. Do you want me to I'm stick with the 20 grand in a bag and have me lose the hostage, and then I'll get the hostage to safety? Yeah, but then what does that leave me with? Myself and a gun, not two officers and two guns. I can move the hostage around the building. Uh, I don't know. Um. Through your call. Where's your car? Right on the side of the building, to your left. Okay, you're gonna put the hostage in that car, and then, yeah. I mean, if you really want to do that, then fine. But let me see if I can talk him into coming outside. Ten four. All right. Uh, where were we? We are at the point where you go meet here with the money. Give me the money. I'll let right. Go. You let us leave. Well, look. I mean, here's the other thing I wanted to uh, ask you. I mean, again, you still have the opportunity to walk out and make things right. You know, get yourself out of you know the heavy trouble and uh, avoid you know people getting hurt. Would you like to take that, no. or would you like a minute to think about it? I don't want a minute to think about it. Alright, well it, then... I'm leaving with it. Well, I mean, sir, here, here's what we can do. I mean, we're willing to work with you and stuff. I'm pretty sure I've made that very evident now. Um, yes, you have, officer. Right. If we were to reduce the amount of charges, waive the fine, reduce your jail time... And arrange to get you out of debt, and allow you to, you know, get access to money for feeding your children. Would you very much enjoy that? If you could uh, make sure that your uh, family has enough to eat, has enough for Christmas, even a little bit to donate. How does that sound? Sounds like a peace of mind, right? Yes, it does. Well, what about if I told you I could make that happen if you were to put your gun down right now and let the hostage go for nothing? Officer. Could that be arranged? Yeah, go to you. I'm gonna get AMS to stand by. Uh, if they're in the channel, then yeah. Try to get them to stand by. This might get a little bloody. Let me switch the Officer, now left your channel. Yep, I'm all ears. You were a child. It's Christmas. You ask your mommy, where is daddy? Now he's in the state prison. How would you feel? Well, um, I would be pretty scared because, you know, growing up and thinking prison's a bad place, but, you know... You could turn things around exactly. and make it so you do get in time, like get home in time for Christmas and stuff. Still gonna be away, away from my child for at least two, three months. User joined your channel. I mean that that's understood, but you know it's better than you, you know, you know, like having to hide for a while and you can't see your family. Uh, it's better than you, you know, being taken down in self-defense from us. I think it's the best option right now. You seem like a smart individual, and I wouldn't want to see you get shot. Please help. I have three kids. Likewise, officer. I'm sorry, what? Likewise, officer. Again, I'm trying not to hurt you, but, you know, I'm not afraid to shoot you if you start shooting at me. I'm glad that you haven't shot at us yet. I hope we keep it that way. I'm trying to keep things peaceful. I know, just do whatever they want, please. Now again, would you like to put that gun down? Keep hearing you move around in there. Again, I think it's the best decision for you right now. It means to hurt anyone, officer. I, I completely anyone. understand that. It looks like you haven't yet. We have to. 
No one has to get shot. No one has to get hurt. All you have to do is walk outside with your hands up and put the gun down. That's all you have to do. You can literally walk out of this with absolutely no, you know, gun wounds or anything. And we can walk out of here with no gun wounds or anything. I mean, would you rather go to jail or would you rather get shot by, you know, one of us? No officer, so risk. I'm almost willing to take. Are you feeling uh, mentally, uh, you know, I guess, uh, I don't know, what's the best way to put it? Um, like, do you feel, you know, kind of out of whack with your uh, mental state? You know, we can uh, arrange to get you, uh, you know, right out of uh, prison. We can uh, get you, you know, I guess a, a mental evaluation. Make sure you're sane. Uh, I don't know. You seem pretty sane right now, but, you know, there's just one little problem, and it's, uh, you know, this whole mess right now, and we're willing to, you know, help you out with this. And think about the man inside. He just said he had three kids, you know? As I said, I would do anything for my kid before anyone else's kid. Well, I'm pretty sure your family right now would rather see you go to prison and then come back for Christmas versus end up in the hospital, then go to prison, and miss Christmas. I'm not missing Christmas, officer. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the whole point, is to get you out before Christmas. Hell, hopefully before Thanksgiving. What's that? Right. I mean, you know, if you tell us about them and stuff, maybe we can work something out with them and uh, get you off their blacklist. So you ask me to snitch. For the better of your own safety, and so we can hopefully get you out of it. Those guys don't fuck around, officer. But if they know I snitch, I think they will go ten times harder on my family. Alright, well then, um, you know, let's try to get you out of that government debt. And then we can uh, try to work on the uh, personal debt. Enough, officer. I want my money. I'm going to leave here with safe passage. Well, I have enough. I'm sorry that I couldn't reason with you. I mean, I'm trying my hardest here to work with you and let you walk out of here, yeah, you know, technically safe passage, but, you know, that way you're not getting 100 charges up the ass. Well, you said I'm going to prison. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to do some time, you know. Just kind of sit and think about what you did, and then uh, you'll be out before you know it. What I'm being shot with. If you were to walk out right now, I would drop armed robbery down to attempted robbery. I would drop kidnapping altogether, and I would waive the fine. I'm sorry, what? Give back the money and surrender. If you surrender, wait, oh, hold on, hold on. You you said I should drop all charges. If I return the money and surrender completely. Well, I mean, again, you gotta go in for some time, but we can work with you. I mean, heck, brandishing a firearm, you know, we could literally just charge you with that and make all this okay. disappear. I mean, it's all completely right. up to us. I know what you're doing. You're filling my head with. I mean, sir, I'm just trying to, you know, be honest with you here. No. Made my, my, I made my decision. 
which is you still want safe passage. Twenty grand for the hostage. All right. I thought I would have access to state funds. Apparently, I don't have access anymore, or I misunderstood when I told uh, the cadet over there. My apologies. Oh my. Let me let me go ahead and uh, talk with the uh, cadet on the radio here. What, what do you want to do, sir? Um, twenty grand. Uh, I'll try to pay you back later. That's all. Do you want me to pass it to you, or do you want me to do to? Have um, it? I want you to for one thing, uh, come over here, but get out of the doorway as fast as possible. Okay. Uh, make sure you don't have an AR. Go in with a um. Hold on, let me figure out what I want you to go in with. I mean, I guess unarmed, but I'm going to tell him, hey, I'm going to put a gun in, but I'm not going to shoot it unless you shoot at my cadet. He's going to come in with 20 grand. Um, you're going to come in. You're going to give it to the guy with the gun. You're going to walk out with the hostage. Um, I want you to put him in cuffs as soon as you get in there. Because I... We're going to cuff the... We're going to... Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get next to the hostage, but make it look like you're going to give it to the, you know, armed guy. Um, that guy hasn't put his hands down all, like, this whole time. At least as far as I know. Um, you're going to cuff him. He's going to continue to be. Um, you're going to go in there. You're going to say, okay, it's going to be all right, sir, uh, to the hostage. I mean, you can say, it's going to be all right, hostage. You know, that way he knows he's talking to you. You're going to hand the guy with the, with the gun um, the money. You're gonna walk back out. Don't bring the hostage. The hostage. Don't bring no, the no, hostage don't up. don't bring him out. We'll come in and get him at a sec at a second time. Or actually, um, do we want to give him the twenty thousand and have him still keep the hostage? I don't think. Actually, um, we'll give him too much. I think. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can talk him down to fifteen k first of all, and then second of all, um, I'm gonna have you, yeah, yeah, put cuffs on him and then bring him outside and put him in your car. And then I'm going to wait right here, and I'm going to have my gun on him the whole time. So if he does anything stupid, I don't care if the hostage is going down. That guy is going down. Because we can okay, always so get the hostage back up. That, that could have been an accident. Okay, so I'm going to go and cuff the hostage, and I'm going to hand over the bag of money to the suspect that walked out with the hostage. Yep. I'll put him in my vehicle. Okay. I'll get the bag ready. All right. All right, sir. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, just 15K, cut it. show officer but I want to say passage all the police would back off from the scene when you have the hostage all right all righty thank you so I much. see a oh cop outside I will start shooting all right I'll first no one needs to get hostage. hurt like I said no one needs to get hurt that's your decision you're the higher rank up here I heard. right it's your call Can you confirm it's 15 or 20,000? Uh, you about done with the money? Uh, hold on a sec. I don't know where my cadet went. 
I think he's getting the money out of his car right now. Told the first officer to arrive at the scene and we're dealing with okay. patients. I'm sorry, what? Not a very patient guy. I told the first officer to, uh, was arriving first at the scene. Adam, I think his name was. Alright. So please hurry up. I'm not trying to be rude. That's completely understood, sir. Uh, he's still filling up the money bag right now. He's starting to be a little impatient. Ah, okay. I'm also... Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and let him know that I'm going to point in as soon as you enter the doors. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do, alright? I don't want you to feel threatened. Alright, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, alright? I'm just gonna point in and uh, make sure that uh, you're not gonna shoot my officer, alright? I promise I won't pull the trigger. Alright, but as soon as he walks in those doors, I'm aiming in. Alright, go ahead. Walk in. Okay, sir, I'm unarmed. I'm coming in. Alright, stay there. Stay, I have there, your stay there. Stay there. Yes, sir. Alright, friend. Keep an eye on the hostage. Shoot if they do any sudden moves. Thank you, officer, for doing what I want you to do. No problem, sir. Just, just stay calm. Get, can I get the hostage to walk toward me, please? Very I want slowly. Every fucking police car at the scene to move out, all right? Yes, sir. That is fine. We, we, we will do that. Can I get the hostage to walk towards me? Slowly. It'll be okay, officer, sir. Keep coming. Why are you still aiming? That was the deal that we had until I'm, I'm out of the doorway. He will stop aiming at you. Keep walking, sir. Keep walking. Keep walking. Come on. Keep walking. Keep walking. Trying. Come on. Keep walking. Officer, keep walking. If you shoot, you put the life of the house keep in coming, danger. Keep coming. Uh, guys, you still hear me? Keep coming. Keep coming. Paramedic guys. Okay. Oh shit! County savings. Keep aiming at the hospital. Okay. Stop Fucking right shit! What is going on? This is crazy. Do tank right now. Is this a robbery going on? Man. Officer. Yeah, they hopped right on in. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Is it fine if I watch? There's really no way that. that could right, work. hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and search you real quick. Oh, you're furry for one thing. Right, at least. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Well, uh, you know, honestly, I wouldn't blame you. I honestly would not blame you. Oh, well. I don't know. If, I don't know about that one, but. I wouldn't blame you for that first one. What happened? Uh, sir, I found body armor on you. Left your and an illegal body pistol. Armor. Man, is it just because it's black? How about you search him? People after me. I had people after channel. me. People hit. People put a hit on me. They were after me. I had to put body armor. I was it was protection. You know. Man. You can put your gun down. I feel scared.